There are four properties of nouns. Person, number, gender, and case. Let us discuss the number. Number is that property of a noun that denotes whether it is one or more than one. If the noun is only one, it is called singular. If there are more than one, it means plural. There are rules in forming the plural noun. It can be classified as regular plurals and irregular plurals. For the regular plurals, here are the rules. The most common regular plural form is constructed by adding S. For example, gown, gowns, notebook, notebooks, brother, brothers, school, schools, friend, friends, house, houses, dancer, dancers, clock, clocks. Regular nouns ending in the sounds or z take es for the plural form for example batch batches buzz buzzes flash flashes kiss kisses bus buses tax taxes patch patches box boxes Nouns ending in O preceded by a vowel take S for the plural form. For example, cameo, cameos, portfolio, portfolios, radio, radios, rodeo, rodeos, studio, studios, taboo, taboos, tattoo, tattoos, video, Videos. Some nouns ending in O preceded by a consonant take ES for the plural form. For example, echo, echoes, hero, heroes, potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. Some nouns ending in O preceded by a consonant Take S for the plural form. For example, albino, albinos, dero, diros, embryo, embryos, eskimo, eskimos, photo, photos, piano, pianos, rhino, rhinos, tobacco, tobaccos. Some nouns ending in O preceded by a consonant use either s or es we can pluralize the words buffalo cargo domino ghetto mango motto zero and volcano by either adding s or es nouns ending in f or fe Form their plural by changing F or FE to VES. For example, calf, calves, elf, elves, half, halves, knife, knives, leaf, leaves, shelf, shelves, wife, wives, wolf, wolves. Some nouns ending in F. Take S for the plural form. For example, belief, beliefs, chief, chiefs, cliff, cliffs, cuff, cuffs, gulf, gulfs, handkerchief, handkerchiefs, proof, proofs, roof, roofs. There are some nouns ending in F which take both forms. For example, dwarf, dwarfs or dwarves, hoof, hoofs or hooves, 
scarf, scarves or scarves, wharf, wharves or wharves. Nouns ending in Y preceded by a consonant form the plural by replacing the Y with IES. For example, ally, allies, baby, babies, country, countries, gypsy, gypsies, lady, ladies, lily, lilies, reply, replies, cherry, cherries. Nouns ending in Y preceded by a vowel form the plural by adding S. For example, bay, base, decoy, decoys, guy, guys, jersey, jerseys, jockey, jockeys, key, keys, ray, rays, toy, toys. We have an exception though. Nouns ending in Q-U-Y form the plural by replacing the Y with I-E-S. For example, colloquy, colloquies, obloquy, obloquies, soliloquy, soliloquies. Proper nouns ending in Y use the regular plural suffix S. For example, Mary, Marys. Sally, Sally's. Betty, Betty's. Titles used with name take idiomatic plural forms. Some use the English regular plural form. Some use the French plural form. For example, Mr. Aranda, Messrs. Aranda. Mrs. De Vera, Madame De Vera. Miss Hanson, Mrs. Hanson. Dr. Mendoza, Doctors Mendoza. Title and name combinations may pluralize the name instead of the title. Still, the plural should occur only once. For example, Mrs. De Vera, Mrs. De Veras. Miss Hanson, Miss Hansons. Dr. Mendoza, Dr. Mendozas. Letters, numbers, symbols, and words used as word form their plural by adding apostrophe and s. Here are some examples. In print media, apostrophe is omitted for the plurals of numerals and acronyms. Here are some examples. Now, let us discuss the rules in forming the plural of irregular nouns. Many nouns, especially loan words, have irregular plural forms brought into modern English from their respective languages of origin. For example, brother, brethren, or brothers, child, children, die, dice, or dice, foot, feet, datum, data, Eratum, errata. Focus, foci or focuses. Goose, geese. Laos, lice. Man, men. Mouse, mice. Ox, oxen. Tooth, teeth. Woman, women. Abacus, abacai or Abacuses. Addendum, addenda. Agendum, agenda or agendums. Alga, algae. Alumna, alumni. Alumnus, alumni. Amoeba, amoebi or amoebas. 
appendix, appendices, or appendixes. Bacillus, bacilli. Bacterium, bacteria. Cactus, cacti, or cactuses. Cicada, cicadi, or cicadas. Colossus, colossi. Corpus, corpora or corpuses. Formula, formulae or formulas. Fungus, fungi or funguses. Larva, larvae or larvas. Matrix, matrices or matrixes. Memorandum, memoranda or memorandums. Nebula, nebulae. Nucleus, nuclei or nucleuses. Octopus, octopi or octopuses. Radius, radii or radiuses. Stimulus, stimuli. Vertebra, vertebrae. Analysis, analysis. Basis, basis. Crisis, crisis. Diagnosis, diagnosis. Ellipsis, ellipses. Dogma, dogmara or dogmas. Emphasis, emphasis. Nemesis, nemesis. Oasis, oasis. Parenthesis, parenthesis. Phenomenon, phenomena, or phenomenons. Thesis, thesis. Bow, bows. Chateau, chateaus. Kudeta, kudetas. Solo, soli, or solos. Some nouns have a zero affix. This means the singular and plural forms are spelled and pronounced the same way. For example, cod, deer, elite, swine, headquarters, means, moose, trout, odds, reindeer, salmon, vermin, cities, sheep, species, and wheat. These words take the same spelling and pronunciation in singular and plural forms. We also have the so-called non-count nouns. These words do not have plural forms. They are always singular. For example, advice, aid, armor, dirt, construction, destruction, documentation, Feedback, food, garbage, jewelry, paraphernalia, smoke, stuff, syntax, and information. These words do not have plural forms. There are non-count nouns which end in S and they are singular. For example, aeronautics, civics, economics, Linguistics, news, mathematics, missiles, molasses, mumps, physics. Which of these words is the correct plural form of moose? Moose.